So it's a new year and I aim to take a lot more videos and photos than I've ever done before. To achieve this, I feel like I need to sort out my camera bag. It's a bit of a mess, everything's everywhere. And if I sort it out, then all I've got to do is grab it and go. The camera bags I use are the Bag Smart Rucksack. This is for my video work because it has a laptop pouch and it has enough room to fit all my video gear in because it's a lot more than my photography gear. And then for my photography work, I use the Jessup's kind of shoulder bag. Um, it's very handy, very small, but it's got everything and can fit everything I need in it. Now onto the good stuff. My photography camera of choice is what I'm currently recording on is the Sony a7C Mark II. This camera is a phenomenal hybrid and also is so light and compact and it looks very snazzy and silver, giving that old retro vintage style look. So it's very fashionable when you're wearing it around, it looks kind of cool, it yeah, just looks cool. Here are a few photos I took using this camera. And if you want to know more about this camera, then feel free to subscribe as I'll be posting a video later on this year talking about this camera and what it offers and how good it really is. My main videography camera is the Sony FX30. I've been using this since November of 22. So it's over a year now and it has never failed me. It does everything phenomenally. Obviously it's a cinema line, not as good as the FX3, but we'll get into that in another video, so subscribe. Apart from that, yeah, it's been amazing. It does everything phenomenally. All my work, all my video work has been done on this. Even actually some photography work. I did some property photography on this. Not as good, but the video work is phenomenal. It does everything I need. Here's some footage now just to show you. And it's just amazing. It's a complete powerhouse, which I've had zero issues with, apart from it being a crop sensor. But it does come in handy shooting in the summer because it's got the crop sensor. Obviously it zooms in a bit more. So I've got an 18 to 105 lens and it just goes crazy. You just have more range. So actually it comes in handy now and then, but I would have liked a full frame, but it's just too expensive. So for the price, this is phenomenal. Really good. Love it. Always in my camera bag. Now onto lenses. First is the Samyang Autofocus 35mm f2.8 lens, which I've also done another video on showing how good and compact it really is and how good it is really for street photography and things like that. But it's just so light, compact, great for traveling. I mean, look how small that is. Goes on the camera, barely notices even on the camera, fits in all my bags, even when I don't know where to fit it because it's that small. Next is the Samyang 24 to 70 f2.8 lens, which I'm currently shooting on. Phenomenal, does everything you need. Looks really snazzy as well. I mean, look at the red on it, it's just wow. Now I know what you're thinking, this lens is really heavy, weighing it at over a kilogram. So that is heavy for camera lenses. But for my style of work, it's not really too much of an issue for me. Even if I'm shooting all days, I just cope with the achy wrist the next day, it's all it is. But it's so versatile at getting those multiple focal lengths all in one zoom. It covers all the ranges you need to, does amazing photos and videos, great autofocus, and it just looks really cool. The next lens is the Sony, 18 to 105 f4 so i know what you're thinking f4 uh, but i've used this on my fx30 uh, the whole time i've had my fx30 i bought it with it and it has not let me down yeah the f4 could be nicer that's why i bought the f2.8 lens but at the time this served me really well not only has it got an amazing focal length of 18 to 105 so you can get to really far zooms and quite wide on a uh, crop sensor but it also looks really cool really lightweight and handy to use the rings are perfect for focusing and um, zooming in and out i would definitely still use it although it is an f4 I might even try using it on my full frame and crop in sometimes if needed, just because it's so lightweight and portable. Um, not really too sure for photos, haven't used it much because I mainly kept it on my FX30, using it as the video lens mainly. But yeah, going in my camera bag. Now onto other bits and bobs. I have got this Helios 442 58mm f2 lens. You've probably seen my video on that. If not, it'll be somewhere on the screen or in the description. This lens is amazing for what it is. I spent about 50 quid on this, so really cheap. Looks really old and battered, so it looks quite cool. But the main reason I love this is for its unique look that it gives. It gives obviously a vintage look, because it's old vintage glass, but it gives that lovely swirl of bokeh. So I always keep this around because it's so small, lightweight, you can hide it anywhere in your bag. 
and you're like, oh, you know what? I want a creative shot. This is it. Now I'm definitely putting the DJI Mini 3 drone in my camera bag for sure. I didn't use it as much as I would have liked to last year, but I know it does phenomenal video at 4K, so it's crisp, works with all my cameras, and it also does amazing photos, but I just need to use it a lot more because it is really good. So if I put it in my camera bag, I'm more likely to be like, ah, oh, why don't I use it? Also, I got it with the remote that has the screen. This is really handy because then you don't need to use your phone, don't need to use your phone battery, and it's all just internal. So all you need to do is carry those two, and jobs are good because you might need your phone for other situations and it has all cool buttons like beep, 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 beep. feel like a oh turn it on feel like a proper drone pilot it's, it's quite cool a video essential which i have zero regrets buying are these dgi mics they come in a pack of two obviously i'm using one now and um, you might be able to see my lab mic um, and the receivers obviously in the camera that's why it's not in the box but it charges them in this small case which is just really cool it's kind of like the apple airpod kind of things but these are just Three mics uh, so charge them in this case you obviously just charge the case up every now and then also have internal recording which is also just amazing internal recording just helps everything i think this might have actually turned on start recording hopefully not but we shall see uh let's hope it hasn't ruined the audio and also i've got the road video mic go for obviously video work so using two cameras it's good to have good audio so you can sync it up a lot easier in when you're editing in premiere pro whatever you need now, this one is essential. I have it always in my camera bag, always wherever I travel, it doesn't matter. This thing is phenomenal. I bought it for like maybe 10 to 20 quid. I'm not too sure how much it was, but it's the Inuyu. I don't know how you say it, but Inuyu, whatever it is, it's a power bank. It's so small, so compact, fits in my pocket half the time. That's all I just carry around in my pocket. Uh, it's got this cool little paw, which tells you the power percentage left. It's got two out ports, USB, and then one USB-C, and also one USB-C import. So easy to charge as well. You can charge a phone, camera batteries, whatever you need, all of this power bank. And it lasts the whole day pretty much. It's, it's really good. Also has a secret little addition, a light. I mean, this could really come in handy when you like um, maybe get lost or you just, um, I don't know, I've never really used it, but it's just a cool addition to have. You never know when you might need it to be fair, to light up a scene, it could be quite good. I don't know, but it's still a really cool feature to have. Maybe I'm just biased because of the light and it's pretty cool, but like, don't tell anyone. Next is these NPF Z100 Sony batteries. I've got two of these, both came with the cameras, but I do have, I think six in total of these NPF 100 batteries, because I had to buy some for a festival last year. I didn't have enough time to charge my batteries. So I just bought a load, charged them up and had them ready to go. So it kind of accumulates over the year, but these batteries are great. They do what they say. Uh, they're just kind of batteries, but it's essential to have for sure. I also have these MPF 970 batteries, which I only use for my monitor. I've got two, I think it came in a pack of two. They last all day, sometimes even two or three days, just plugged into my monitor. Uh, these are really good. I don't know if that's standard, how good they last, but yeah, phenomenal. Last all day, take a long time to charge though, but that's the only downside. You should leave them charging for a while. And then speaking of monitor, I used the Field World F6 Plus. It was, I think it was a discount when I got it. And it's the main thing is that it just does what a monitor does. It's just a bigger screen, shows you certain things like colors, the exposures, just to make sure everything's correctly. If you're using anamorphic lenses, it's quite nice to have that, which I do have an anamorphic lens hiding up there. But it has a lovely little wheel dial, which is fun to use. But I really liked it mainly because of this stand it uses. It swirls around on the stand, but it was just really handy to have this kind of curve instead of straight or on top, going higher or lower. I just found it really useful. And also it's got an extra thing here, a mount so you can put a microphone or whatever else on here or screwed in one, whatever. But um, yeah, really handy. Love this monitor. Use it all the time whenever I do video work. ND filters. Now, if you know me, you know I love my ND filters. They are like sunglasses for your camera. They are really handy at darkening your image. So if you're shooting in harsh sun, you can keep the f-stop quite low. Uh, use it in all my video work when shooting in the sun, because it's just so easy to use. All you've got to focus on is changing this, which is kind of like just changing the brightness. Like I said, sunglasses for your camera. Next is a small rig tool set I got. Easier to have this small tool rig so you can use the different Allen keys you need to do whatever you need for your camera really. That's all it is, a small light and compact hideaway. Finally, and probably the most important, is snacks. I mean, even if it's something small like Mentos Fanta, something like this. Put in your camera bag and they're there. They're just 
you know it's like a snack i mean like you know what can you what if you get hungry and like you, then you just i'll be laughing because i'll i won't be hungry now if you have any questions about any of the gear i use in this video comment down below or hit the subscribe button because i will be posting quite a lot of product reviews and gear review and i'll be letting you know how good each lens is with examples photos and all that jazz and if you want to see more videos like this one then i think you would like this video here or maybe here Cool.